So you're living in an apartment and you want to soundproof the floor, but obviously if you live in an apartment, it's kind of hard to soundproof the floor because there's nothing really you can do to alter the floor. You, you don't own the place, it's not yours. And if your landlord isn't really keen on spending the money himself to actually redo the floor or the ceiling from the unit underneath to actually soundproof in between both units, then it's probably going to be a lot more difficult. But in this video, I'll show you how to soundproof your apartment floor without making any alterations. And after that, I'll talk about ways you can maybe talk to your landlord on making those alterations on how to soundproof the floor properly. But usually when you're soundproofing a floor, it's the most difficult type of thing to soundproof because you're trying to soundproof for impact noise. Whether you have people walking around or kids running around, you'll have impact noise and you'll hear that noise underneath. And it's that type of noise that's a little bit harder to soundproof versus airborne noise where you're soundproofing for voices and you just have to add a mass. If you're not really sure the difference between airborne noise and structural noise, check out last week's video. It was a really informative video about those two types of noise and also soundproofing and acoustics and how to go about using your soundproofing material to soundproof between airborne and structural noise because there is a big difference on how you should soundproof for different types of noise. So make sure to check that out. And if your landlord doesn't mind spending a little bit of money to soundproof the apartment floor, I'll give you some tips on how they can go about that a little bit later in this video. But first, how to soundproof your apartment floor if you can't really make any alterations? Well, usually people would just mention area rugs. And yes, an area rug, the reason why there's a lot of noise typically on floor is because of the hard surface. You're walking on wood floors, laminate floors, or you can be walking on ceramic tiles. And it there's a pretty big transfer of noise compared if the floor in your apartment would be, let's say, carpeting, because the carpeting will absorb a lot of that vibrational noise. But when there is no carpeting and you have a hard surface, so adding a big area rug inside the room will make quite a difference in absorbing that vibrational noise. And also a lot of people will recommend to add some type of underlay underneath the, the, the carpet, but there is an underlay that works a lot better than the rest because this is a mixture of the felt that you'll usually have in underlay because usually underlay, it's just a felt. But this type of underlay, you have a felt and also a, a rubber layer that, well, it sticks to the floor and also helps absorb a lot more vibrations than if you just had a regular felt. And what I like about this product, it's made specifically for this type of application, for floor soundproofing where you can't do any type of alterations. And, but also it helps with the acoustics in the room if you want to use the room as a home studio and not really use it to soundproof the floor. So it works both ways. It works at absorbing the noise inside the room and also helps absorb the impact noise. And I'll have links in the description below of everything I talk about. These links are affiliate links, which gives me a commission at no extra cost to you and it helps me produce more content and not have to do the whole Patreon and all those things. So, thank you. Another thing that you can use is something called mass loaded vinyl. Now this is something that typically we would use to soundproof a wall or soundproof a ceiling or a floor, but usually you put it underneath the floorboards and it helps to absorb a lot of the vibrational noise in between the floor and the floor joist. But if you can't really make any alterations, you can buy some mass loaded vinyl. You can buy it in a roll or you can buy just smaller sheets and then place them all underneath the carpet. And this will help in absorbing a lot of the impact noise. But if you want to know more about mass loaded vinyl, video right there will show you more about this product and how to use it in different soundproofing applications. So there are a few other ways to soundproof the floor in your apartment, but this is basically what will help the most if you can't make any alterations. Now, if your landlord doesn't mind spending some money to help you soundproof your floor, then you can go a step further than just adding an area rug and actually adding carpeting all over the floor. Now, there are some types of carpetings that will work better in soundproofing. Obviously, the thicker the carpeting, the shabbier or shaggier they are, the better they are at absorbing noise. If you have just a very thin carpet, a hard carpet, it's not going to do as much as a very thick carpet in absorbing that impact noise. 
Now, what I would add underneath the carpet, a roll of mass loaded vinyl. Now, roll it onto the floor, add the carpeting on top of it, and you'll see a, quite a dramatic difference in noise transfer from up above to down below. But the, the thing is, is the mass loaded vinyl will absorb a lot of the impact, but it won't eliminate it completely. The only way to eliminate the impact noise from upstairs to downstairs is really to decouple the ceiling from the joist and that you will have to go underneath at the unit below and this is a little bit more of a project because it would disturb the people living underneath but if that's also possible then really to soundproof the floor to make it worth it to completely eliminate the noise of the impact would be to rip out the ceiling and to add something called a resilient channel. It is a little bit more of a project. And if you want to know more about resilient channel, video right there on how to install it. Because some people will say that resilient channel didn't really work for them because they installed it themselves and didn't install it properly. They might have used longer screws and the screw just went into the stud and that separation is now, well, it's, it's now, it's, you just bonded it back together so it doesn't work anymore. So there you have it. If your landlord doesn't really want to help you, then at least you can do it yourself. And also you can do this at home because who really wants to rip out their floor or the ceiling? Nobody wants to do that. So do what I said and you will be very happy. Thank you very much for watching and leave me a comment. I try to answer every question. I get a lot of questions, so I just do my best. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.